Hey everyone, welcome to our Species Spotlight on Mushroom Corals. Uh, today's video will be looking at the species that do not have a skeleton. And to be a little bit more specific about that, we're going to be including the genera in the description below. So have a look there to clue into exactly what genera we're talking about and the species. The distribution of mushroom corals is basically across all tropical and subtropical oceans. Uh, they're typically found in reefs and on drop-offs found adjacent to reefs. Mushroom corals are distinct from other corals by something called an oral disc. The oral disc is an area that surrounds their opening. Uh, this opening, the mouth, is actually distinct from other corals as well, given the fact that it is raised up above the surface of the disc. Mushroom corals also feature something called a foot. This is what they uh, use to attach to a surface. Uh, on the foot, there are actually small tentacles, but they appear more like little bumps. Colors and color patterns of mushroom corals vary from striping through the blotching and uh, include a variety of different colors, including brown, green, blue, red, purple, and so forth. There really are a number of different varieties of colors. The size range varies across the different species that are available, uh, and it goes anywhere from a little bit under an inch all the way up to about 18 inches in diameter or up to about 45 centimeters. This of course needs to be taken into consideration when choosing the proper size reef tank. There are many species that are around an inch or two in diameter, which obviously would be ideal. Mushroom corals are really ideal for mar uh, marine reef aquariums. Um, their preference in terms of water flow is generally somewhat lower to mid uh, level water movement, nothing too aggressive. And the same thing for light, in fact. Um, they do prefer lower to mid-level type lighting. They respond best to it. They'll open up the best. Uh, part of what you have to do when successfully placing them in the aquarium is look for areas where the water flow does meet that requirement or does meet that condition. And same for the lighting. Often it means positioning the mushroom uh, the mushroom rock that you would get a colony on underneath uh, some of the larger or in the shade of some of the larger corals that you may have. Compatibility with corals really uh, in general is not an issue. Obviously some of the, the uh, fish such as marine angels that get bigger, uh, they, uh, they will consume smaller corals. So you need to exercise caution there. Um, some of the larger species of mushrooms, such as elephant deer, which gets to be enormous, uh, they, that is somewhat of a risk for a fish that may perch on them, uh, such as a clownfish or a goby. It only takes a few seconds and they could close up on a fish. So a little bit of care has to be exercised with what species of fish you're keeping with, with the extremely large mushrooms. When it comes to water conditions for your mushroom corals, uh, low to moderate water flow and lower to mid-level lighting, as we mentioned just previously. Uh, when it comes to nutrient value, you can achieve the slightly uh, higher nutri nutrient value they require by reducing the efficiency of your skimmer a little bit. So you might increase the flow of the water going through your skimmer to in fact reduce the contact time leaving a little bit more nutrient uh, in the water. pH range should be between 8.1 and 8.5, salinity 1.020 to 1.025. And as far as the temperature range is concerned, 78 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 to 28 degrees Celsius. When it comes to feeding mushroom corals, most species are photosynthetic. So no great care has to be taken there. As we mentioned, you could reduce the efficiency of your skimmer a little bit. That might be sufficient for them to open to full capacity and spread and so forth throughout the tank. Typically feeding your fish and some of the uh, liquids or excess protein that enters the water via that is enough to provide what your what mushroom corals require. Uh, some of the larger species, such as elephant ear mushrooms, uh, a small piece of shrimp or fish on the, placed on the coral once or twice a month is typically sufficient uh, to provide them with the, with the protein that uh, would benefit them. 
In summary, we feel that mushroom corals are a great addition to any mini reef. Uh, they're inexpensive typically when comparing to other corals. They're available in a wide variety of different species, uh, sizes, colors, patterns, and shapes, and so forth. They're hardy, easy to look after. We feel that they really are one of the best corals, and especially for those that are starting off uh, with a mini reef. So there you have it, guys. Uh, that's our species spotlight on mushrooms. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Till the next time. Thank you.